Fun. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's about that time for another episode of It's About That Time podcast. We, this is episode 9.5, I believe. Welcome, everyone. Troy, Tanner, Jason. Hello. Uh, pleasure to be here. Pleasure. Uh, how are you guys doing this evening? Excellent. I, I want to thank you. All right. Thank you very me. much oh. for coming on, Tanner. So actually... <laughs> So I wanted, uh, so I went ahead and did a uh, a poll on Instagram, asking uh, for people for questions from everyone, and I thought that it'd be kind of cool for us to run through a couple of them. Yeah, dude, that'd be super rad. I'm so excited. I yeah. just cannot wait. That's, I can't tell if you guys are being genuine, but all right, fuck off. All right, one question is: Does size matter? Now, <laughs> by Josh Shannon, uh, with the <laughs> just outed him. Uh, so the size matter. You go ahead and like take a couple seconds to think about this. But um, I'm, first, I'm gonna try to clarify what he's trying to say. Is he talking yeah. about height or is he talking about penis so size? Seems seems like we don't know. So let's just quickly run through the possible scenarios. Uh, I I think I, we can we can ba- we could kind of assume that it's about hands, right? Like it's yeah, safe to it's say. True. Yeah, because, you know, the size of your hands correlates to a lot of other things. Yeah, like, so, if it's your hand's bigger than your face, you may have cancer. That uh, is true. There is a study yeah. on that, uh, 2008, from Columbia, I believe. Troy. Oh, I, I, yeah, okay. Troy, are you okay? Yeah, I, I was just, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but I, th- uh, but I do think it's actually about penis size, for those of you who couldn't get the joke. So, mm-hmm. if... It, am I? Are, are you asking me if I'm concerned about the the size of the do you, penis? Do you entity? think a woman cares about size, or like, do you think size matters? You know, in oh, in the okay, successfulness matters. of a re- relationship, or I even just in the. Worthy, six... I don't know if we're allowed to even like speak on that. What? Like, because we're all three Asian men. Well, I guess. I mean, that is a good point. The Asian part is a good point, but I was going to say that we're since we're men. I mean, well, do we we're, really care we're, about we're not, we're not We're not going to speak on behalf of women, I think. I think we want to speak on behalf of your own personal experiences or oh, what you okay. think. Oh, so like the women that we've been with, how have they felt about... <laughs> I feel like the question is just like overall. It's not really from men perspective or female um, perspective, yeah, I think but like it's overall. Just, yeah, I don't know why you, you're trying to complicate Well, because, because in general, as a guy, I don't care how big another person's penis is. I don't really think about it. Do you, th- do you think about your own? Do you just, like, look at it and say, damn, it, if only I had No, no, no. Four I think we're inches. looking too zoomed in. Just, like, societal, should this matter? Like, in any relationship, not even your own relationship, just any. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're not uh, talking about particularly you. Huh. We're talking about you later, though. All right, can uh, we whip it out for example? Yeah, of course. Okay. No. Um, I don't think that size matters. Oh, why is that? Um, actually, you know, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I don't think really... I think at a certain there's like a cutoff point where it, where it matters. Oh, you're yeah, oh, sure. chopping like... off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like circumcision is a big issue. Okay. okay, okay. Oh, speaking of which, are you guys? Uh, well, I'm, are cut. You I'm cut. Nigga. Are you cut? Oh God, are you cut, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> cut with the K H. <laughs> yeah. rules jason okay i i definitely just effed up a little bit messed up (laughs) (laughs) okay anyways um yeah it's the coffee man it's the coffee i think i think that wait did anyone say that that we were all cut yeah i think we did so (laughs) all right let's uh, move on then um so yeah do you think it matters then you say you probably doesn't uh, I think that it just depends on the girl, really. That's but, it's such a bullshit answer, dude. Yeah, okay. well, I mean, like, I don't know. Some people care, some people don't. But in your in your eyes, do you think do people it, should? Do care? I think it should matter? Did no. I do I think it should matter? Or do you think, think it does matter? I think for, I don't. That's, I guess so. I don't. Tanner, what, do what do you think? What do you think? No, Tanner, you should choose to lean towards one side. Like, do a most statement. Like, most girls care about it, or most girls don't care about it. That's the thing. I, like, I haven't dated I feel, most girls, but if I, were, if I were to make an assumption, then I would say that not really, no. I feel like it's not about the length, actually. I think <laughs> I think it's about the girth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How fat the cock is. 
See like yeah, there. Let's see like that. See like how the top of the Troy's water bottle is kind of narrow. Yeah. That's not that good. You want a fat you one. You want to be this end. Oh god. Yeah. So yeah. you can break something, break the walls. Definitely tear down all the barriers, as I would like to say. Mm -hmm. But open I... door policy. <laughs> Just <laughs> let me in. Let me in there. Okay. Okay. But. Uh... <laughs> I, I I do think in matter I think every all that matter have you seen the South Park episode where they try to measure like dick size and it's like you have to measure the yaw of a penis and then the real dick size is a is a whole equation and it's like Randy's dick is three point two inches normally, but if you do this equation it's actually five point six inches, which is average. <laughs> what the heck? No, I have not I seen, that, but. seen that. So uh, we're all going to tell our dick sizes, right? Yeah, on the count of three. Ready? All right. One, two, three, four. Two. Oh. Teen? Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's eight. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Josh, for that wonderful question. Uh, Maggie, will I graduate now? Um, how, do, how do you know she won't graduate? Did she finally decide on her major? She's an MIS. That's major. the first step. MIS, oh, okay. and you know she's doing all right. But no, you will not graduate. Uh, thank you, uh, Art by Jam and Koa, for asking. Um, uh, is the Earth flat? All right, so I guess uh, we should get into this one. I know okay, Troy. So I know Troy. Yeah, has go ahead. I was gonna say thing. Troy. Troy's our resident uh, flat, flat earther. earther. <laughs> yeah. So just to clarify. I do believe that the Earth is spherical, right? And but that, how can we be sure? Exactly. It's just things like that. Because the only reason you guys are so sure is like what you're told or like you're supposed to be told, yeah, these photographs are real. Things like that. So I feel like if I think about it super, super literally, the only people who really know is the people who like have the technology or experiences that saw it, you know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, I don't care either what the truth is because I feel like it doesn't it doesn't affect my pursuit of happiness whether or not the earth is flat or not. So I just view it as like a fun conversation. Like, hmm, I can't be sure, but at the same time, I don't care. Yeah. All right, go I'd ahead and give your argument then. Well, that was his argument. It was just... Oh, that was your argument? No, no, no. I have another thing too. Okay. So I think we might have talked about this earlier before, but like a, the idea that you don't know like if you're in a simulation or like if you're in a dream or if you're like in the matrix right and most people like will agree on that like yeah there's no way to disprove that i'm not in one of these things right would you say like you agree like you cannot prove that you're in a dream or a machine or something i have a totem okay yeah that's right that's right that's but um so yeah my main point is that most people will agree yeah i can't disprove that i'm in a dream or a machine or something but at the same time most of them are so sure yeah but the earth is spherical like for sure i'm like like do you see how like those two things are so different yeah. yeah i i i definitely agree that you know when it comes to science and a lot of these things um we kind of accept a lot of them especially as most of us are laymen we're not we don't um, yeah speak for study yourself. these kinds of things but i'm a scholar we definitely take a lot of what is said as truth <clears throat> because yeah, we just trust it without fighting yeah. it yeah. but when it comes to flat earth theory Mm -hmm. um there's ways to test that on land you don't have to be up in the sky to see the earth mm -hmm. uh from sky yeah because, like, one, one, one simple thing is just the moon and like lunar eclipses yeah. or like um how planes can save time following like the earth's rotation like when they're trying to fly across like the ocean like i thought that was like a pretty cool defense as well yeah, yeah. and like, there was this guy in the desert like a long long time ago that had these two giant obelisks or something and, uh -huh. and he measured their shadows at two different areas uh -huh. And um, and then he discovered that the Earth was round like thousands of years ago before. You mean Galileo? Was, was that bullshit. Galileo? No, no not Galileo. Galileo. Rest in peace, Galileo. Rest in peace. The OG. Rest in peace, Galileo. <laughs> Can I get some F in the chat? <laughs> like, do you th like do you think that um, flat? I mean, the, if the Earth is flat, how can we see like sunrises and sunsets then? Uh, what do you mean? I feel like you can't. Sunrise. Because like the whole theory, uh, whole back then theory was like if uh, if the Earth was truly flat, you could fall off the edge during like a sunset or something. 
or sunrise during, during a sunset? sunset i feel like you like if the earth was flat you'd be able to fall off at any point yeah That's anyway yeah what but, does yeah. the sunset have to do with falling off because i forgot it's like where the sun is positioned so like, i don't know actually but like uh -oh. you, they say you yeah. can just fall off the earth uh-huh but yeah, I, has there been any recorded instances of a man falling off? <laughs> well, I guess yeah, if they fell off, we would never know. <laughs> someone was there to see it. If, if a man fell off the earth and no one was there to see it, <laughs> did he actually fall off? Yeah, I always, like, I remember, like, thinking about, like, if the earth was flat, what happens to all the water? Does it just, like, fall off and, and never come back? There's a wall. There's a perfectly sized wall that holds all Who created all the water? that wall? God. Good question. No. Yeah. And then we oh, go wow. all into religion and philosophy, and that's why everything is related to everything. I mean, do you think there is a God? I think there was some sort of maker or designer, I would say. And I think this maker or designer made everything, and then he took a step back, and now he's just, like, he's observing. Just you... Or he might be even doing something else. But I firmly believe, like, he's not doing anything. Do you think anything. it's any he's one not... of these... Uh... These uh, gods are within any um, of these religions. You think it's I like this personal, this actual? Yeah, like god. those popular gods. I I personally don't think so because the problem when you look at these popularized religions, there's too much detail and like provisions in these religions to the point where it, it begins to contradict itself. Like, oh yeah, our god did this and this and this and this, and the more stuff you add into it, the more complicated and like the more it doesn't make sense and the more it just looks like it's fake, right? But mm -hmm. I think if you believe something simple like me, oh yeah, this some being it can't be made everything. You can't be wrong if it's so broad. <laughs> yeah, like I have such like Low. it sounds pretty simple and good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Tanner? Um, no, I don't. I don't think I believe in a god. But I think that you know, if How it do you were true. Okay, I was gonna say. Okay, go ahead. Finish your statement. I have a question. I was gonna say if if it were true, then I feel if like there is a god, then I feel like it would be. All of these things that everybody's described combined into one. Maybe like everybody, Whoa. you know, like have you heard of that? Um, that it's not it's not a saying. It's like an old story where it's like there's like these four blind Indian men and they're each touch, touching um, the foot of an elephant and they each think that it's a tree, but they don't realize they don't see the bigger picture that they're all. Oh, touching, I like that. That's yeah, cool. They're all touching the same elephant. But um, yeah, I think that like if that's if like there is a god, maybe. I think it's possible that you know everybody yeah. has seen yeah. Yeah. different parts. Everyone of the has truth. like a correct piece and like some incorrect pieces. So how we, yeah. so how, uh, being the fact that you don't believe that there is a god, how do you explain like instances of like life? Do you think they're just like random instances of what life? Like like how life or existence came to be? Like how, like is it just out of coincidence that we are here as human beings? Or just... yeah, I think so. I definitely think it. I think it's all coincidence. Um, Maybe coincidence is the wrong word because it has this connotation of like, yeah. oh, it maybe shouldn't have happened, but it happened. But I think it's just yeah. more like things just yeah. kind of happen kind of thing. Yeah. You know? In one of my philosophy classes, one of the arguments for theism or like there is a God was that the odds of us just being coincidence was so, so minuscule that like... I wonder how they ca calculated those odds. Yeah, but like the thing... No, like, I hate the simulation of like... Things crashing, crashing into each other in space, and the chemicals that would come out of these things, and things would arrange in a certain way. Like I, I hate that yeah. argument because yeah. yes, time is, time is big, and I feel like time is if, long. If, 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 even if it is such a small probability, it still happens. We are that probability. Yeah. like we are yeah. the product of that, and the fact that we don't see it as like as often around us is evidence that. Or it's not evidence, but it's it's kind of like it just goes to show that yeah, it was such a low probability. That's why we don't really see it very much. We're the only humans in the universe, as far as we know. Yeah, as far as we know. So I think in terms of in terms of probability, I hate that argument that it's just such a low chance yeah. that it must have been this. Yeah, Do we know how how old the universe is? Do we? Uh, is, is that like I, I think I don't know if that's uh, I don't know. Like that. Yeah, there is. I think there's a number that they have for that. I know, like, they oh. say, like, Earth is, like, a couple billion years old, or million, billion or million? Yeah, we, we do have, like, they measure the age of the universe by looking at, like, the background radiation. So, they uh, cut point. the Earth in half and count how many rings. I did a quick <laughs> Google search, and uh, a study last year says the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's not as old as I thought it would be. I'm not gonna Me lie. too. Oh, yeah? Why don't you try counting the 13.8 billion? <laughs> I feel say it, man. I don't think you. I don't think you're. Uh, you have enough time in the world. 
to in count up to 13.8 billion yeah actually so when i was younger i used to i used to count to go to sleep and uh what's the highest you counted <laughs> I think the highest I counted was up to a thousand, and I was just like, what? Oh, "I'm bored, but I'm not tired, and I can't." And I'm I not stopping now. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was an achievement. I was like, "Wow, I counted to a thousand, so but I was like, who am I going to tell?" Each this? Number in a second—that's like sixteen minutes. So it's actually oh, not up to a thousand. Yeah. No. Yeah. How, how long would it take if you were to count to a thirteen billion? Oh shoot! So one billion. We'll just do one billion divided by sixty, I guess. <laughs> okay, one, one, three. And then multiply it by, why don't you just do 13.8 billion divided by 16? If you're going to a calculator anyways. One billion times what? Divided by 60. Oh. Right? That's uh, 16 million minutes. Wow. 16 million. Divide that I again. The time. Devi the... No, <laughs> we're, we're regressing too much. It'll never end. <laughs> 16. But, uh... Where were we? Flat Earth? Why did? How did we get here? Oh, because because it was know. a question. Talking about you. Wait, why did you say you used to count while you were going to sleep? Like, why did you bring that up? Oh, because uh, Jason challenged me. He said I could never count to thirteen point eight billion, but I oh. think I could. I think if I was a uh, no, you could. I was really restless. <laughs> so that means the next step. <laughs> what the heck? Actually, okay, that brings me to another another thing. When I was younger and I was uh, learning to skateboard with my cousins. Um, I used to, so one of the tricks that I want, the, one of the beginner tricks that I learned was, uh, was a manual. And so like one of the cool things as a skater is how long can you hold your manual for? And, and so I would, I would go and I would do a manual I'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'd be like, I did it for seven seconds. And I just count as fast as possible. So how how much real time do you think it was? Probably like half a second, dude. Half a second. I'm so, yeah. well, you count up to seven. And well, you half... counted seven seconds and half a second. I told man, I was counting in my sleep. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I, dude, I mean, this guy's a professional counter. I'm a professional. So counter. yeah, you, maybe you can reach eighteen point six <laughs> billion. The age of the universe. All right, well, let's finish up this topic now. Ask Jason what? the question. So, do you believe in like a god or like a maker or whatever? I I believe that. I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of like you that I I would. Mm. I'm a, I think I'm a combination of both of you. Oh. In that, like... You fucking lukewarm. Lukewarm. Shit, no, but let me... It's, it's not even lukewarm, because it, it me, I still have a fucking answer. And it's, like, a definitive answer. The point uh, is... Definitive? Whoa. Whoa, you... Let's hear it. You speak in absolutes? I do. Uh, <laughs> only a Sith deals in absolutes. Alright, hit us with it. And I will do what I must. <laughs> Continue. Uh, you will try. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You wouldn't get it, Troy, okay? You haven't seen it. You don't understand. Right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> uh, I, li I like to believe that there is some sort of being out there, but I don't rely exactly on that one being to as my, like, reasoning for existence. So, maybe, like, there is, like, someone, like, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't matter how it relates to you, but do you believe there is or isn't? That's the question. Because well, he just he just said it. Let him continue. Just oh, continue. okay, go ahead. I mean, I, I, I guess I kind of said it. Like, it, yeah, keep going, keep going. I believe that there is a higher power, and I think a combination of of the higher power and coincidental instances created life. Mm. It's like we're we're a menagerie. And this, <laughs> what is that? A menagerie is like, <laughs> I guess I don't I can't, like. Can't, how do Isn't you? Isn't just an orgy? No, you idiot! Oh, oh but it's like a collection what? of like life, I think, and then like, and then someone like uh watches it. So like an aquarium is some f form of menagerie. Okay, I see. Okay, I was totally off. On I was like, what do you, do you think I said? <laughs> Smarter every day. A menagerie. Oh, it's a collection of. Uh, wild animals kept in captivity. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I was. You right boys back. consider yourself wild? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I think that's all we had for the questions. We had some other questions, but uh, they weren't really that well, well put. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Um. But okay. So, actually, um, before we continue, Troy and I wanted to uh host an intervention on you jason and i think now is a really appropriate time especially since you're looking at your phone now 
So it's turned off. Wanted... I was just checking the questions. Why would yeah, you think okay. I'm reading the questions from? No, that's fine. That's fair. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. You 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 should you need to read the questions from your phone. But I think there's a lot of instances where you're on your phone when maybe you don't need to be on your phone. Um, I I don't like the the sacking of this. Did you just? Point? Well, you know, we just thought that you know you, you needed to be told at some point that we think that you have a problem. Troy, you wanna you wanna help me out on this? All right, all right, all right, all right. Jason, uh, get ready. All right. Jason, no one should be on their phone during the podcast, especially us three hosts. So we've continuously said that, like, one of your negative traits in general is that you're, like, on your phone too much or, like, rely on it too much. And the podcast only happens, like, once to twice a week and lasts somewhere from, like, one to two hours. So that's actually, like, a really small fraction of how long you're on your phone every day during the whole week. And... uh we know you say you don't. It does, you feel like it doesn't take away anything, but that's not really the main point or necessarily true. I think we should all give our hundred percent effort and undivided attention to the podcast. I think this is not a topic to be discussed on the show. I think it's better discussed offline. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I I did want to say that, but I think in general, I think in general, Jason, you have a a, a phone addiction problem. Do you think we all have even it? when? No, yes, we, I mean, like, I think as a generation, for sure, we're all oh, addicted. I was going to say, do we all have our own vices? Okay, yes. And you can bring ours up later on if you'd like, but uh, this one, I think, uh, I think is a, is, is, it's a pretty big deal in your life. It's, it's palatable. I can understand that. Because, I, okay, for example, you know, even say, say, for example, like we're out, we're all out to eat or something. You're pretty much on your phone throughout the entire meal. Is that right? Regularly. I yes, agree. that is right. Yeah. And Troy, I guess, who lives with you, who eats with you more regularly, could probably attest to that. What do you have to say for yourself, Jason? I mean, I, you Give know. Give your defense. Go ahead. There's, I mean, I, there is no defense. This is an intervention. You're supposed to resist. Oh, and my God. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to fight you. There is no, I mean, there is no defense because I'm not disagreeing with you. Oh, damn. Okay, this didn't go how I expected. You think I'm gonna fight? Gonna... I thought you were gonna fight. I thought you were gonna put up a fight. No, because I know it's true. Well, then, if you know that it's true, then uh... I mean, just because you know it's true doesn't mean you change. I think. I think. I think it's, you it's would the, make... it's, the, it's the first step. Uh, I. <laughs> well, how long have you been in this first step for? Tell me. It's been a while, but like you know, I I think I've had like these sort of like complications throughout my life. I you I had I had I had an issue where I know. Chewing on my fingernails is terrible for me. You know, I never had that problem, and I I heard a lot of people Yo, did. And, as and, a kid, yes, I'm saying with Tanner, I'm like, I don't even want to do that. Yeah, I don't. There's wanna, kids don't who know. can't stop. <laughs> I, I have a lot of bad like things. So like habits, chew, habits, yeah. So I chew my fingers. Uh, I bite the side of my cheeks and peel the skin. Really? You don't just like go like that. Uh, oh no! I love my body so. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt or anything. It's just like it's just something it just feels on. good. Yeah, I like chewing on like the the skin on your fingers, like you know. And I see you do that too. But I was gonna say that like I kind of like the pain that comes at the end of my fingernails sometimes. The pain. So you, you like the yeah. There's pain. like it's not it was not really pain because it it, it feels good. So I don't well, know. What, what do you like, what do you wait? No what pain can feel. So good. like when I dig like right at the edge of my fingernail, just like into the pocket for some reason. Oh. oh. I don't know why. Do you, okay, all right. That, that, do you, this is why, you, this is why Tanner's a psychopath. I shouldn't have peel, exposed myself. Do you like peel that. your cubicles back or like push them back? No, I don't. I don't. But I do peel I, my. I, I peel them off this oh. way. Ah! Your cubicles? You know what cubicles? I'm talking are. about the. Yeah, yeah, right. Here, maybe I'm misleading. Yeah. It's a little piece of skin that sometimes comes up. Oh right? no, not the yeah. little piece. The one that like actually attaches to your nail. Oh no, no, no! I'm I thought about you the little. You took like a big ch- chunk of it and just pulled oh. it back. <laughs> no, no. Uh, All right, continue what with your else do I do? I, um, I, I was gonna say I pick my nose a lot. That's fair. I do that too. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if that's actually an addiction because. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're addicted. You to take it. pleasure in it. It sometimes it's like relaxing. <laughs> but I don't sometimes do... your eyes just roll on the back of your head while you're. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but mainly, it's those three. It's like uh, chewing on the skin, chewing on the nails. And then chewing on the cheeks. 
And your iPhone. And, and my iPhone. But yeah, and I, I recognize all of them. And I say, I, sometimes I tell myself, like, all right, today's the day. You don't chew on your fingers once. Once. Once a day. And then I'm just, like, sitting on my computer, like, oh, shit. <laughs> maybe you need to uh maybe you need to do some like um negative reinforcement is that what the right word is negative. yeah sometimes that works better for people yeah um, so like every time you do it maybe I you should, should dip, just i should dip my finger in one of those like nasty hot like sauce. flavorings oh, oh, soy sauce yeah. would, uh, hot sauce would make me feel better about it <laughs> oh, but there is like a, a bitter uh, like a bitter thing that you give to dogs too like to uh to get them not to chew on things you like, you spray it on like your shoes, I guess, and then they taste it. So you're gonna, you're gonna spray Wait, your you fingers? have that? You should have bought that all along. I had it, but it, it doesn't bread. work. What? Oh, put it on your bread so that Theo doesn't oh. eat your fucking bread. On your bread. Oh. I was gonna put it on <laughs> Troy's shoes. He's only after Troy's shoes. I didn't know a dog would eat so much bread. <laughs> three, Just bread. Three it's fourths of like a loaf, steak. and then he vomited yeah, he ate, and like, shit it all. Of a loaf. <laughs> he, he he vomited like four times. In that, on like the same, in, all in like a, uh, all uh, consecutive. Kind of like a minefield. <laughs> he was like, he, he shot like twice on the carpet at the same, and then as soon as he like finished shouting, he like he to- rolled over and was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, yeah. He kept changing spots. <laughs> yeah, you like this part of the house? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you should have sent the Roomba on him. Oh, oh no, he he doesn't really care about the Roomba. No, he, yeah, he doesn't care about the Roomba, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't fight with it. I was hoping for him to ride it, but he's kind of fat. <laughs> Forty pound well, corgi. You should consider doing one of those iPhone lock things that like you, you, it only allows you a certain amount of time on a certain application or something like that. And I think do you browse Reddit going back a lot? to this? No, I do not. Yeah, you don't. Because I remember, so I used to have a Reddit addiction where like literally all the time I'd just be looking at Reddit and it like I'd look at the same thing over and over again and it's just the saddest thing and then eventually I was just like no I gotta stop so I just quit cold turkey and I just didn't look at Reddit at all for a while but um willpower wow willpower so you need the willpower to uh cold turkey stop looking at your phone I'm okay I'm trying to tell you which apps I'm always on so, oh, I'm I'm pretty interested in that. Actually. You can see, uh, it tells you. On, oh on, yeah, you can. Wait, how do you see your most used apps? Well, it's iPhone. But you have a yeah, you have a oh. Android. I think they they do show it on the Android too. But how do you look it up on the iPhone? Yeah. Um, I've seen it before. It's like usage or something. Maybe it's under battery. No. It could be battery. Um. I don't know where it is. Battery health, but, um. Oh Jesus. Okay, yeah, uh, 27% of my battery goes... Okay, yeah, there we go. It's in battery. Oh, oh, I can see that too, then. In the last five... Uh, so, in the last 24 hours, I think, or last 12 hours, it says I was on uh, Snapchat for two, two hour, hours and a half, two and a half hours. Wow. Oh, my. For Facebook, I was on for an hour and, and 50 minutes. Facebook Messenger, two hours. YouTube for one hour, Instagram for one hour, Discord for 25. And would th- that's for the last how long? Uh, last 24 hours. Wow, dude. Because, okay, so what was your highest again? Your highest was Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. My highest is just Safari for like 1.6 hours. And then everything else is pretty low after that. But, that's yeah. Crazy. I think, but I do think in general, like, especially, you know, people our age, um, we look at screens a lot for a lot of the day, and I and I've been noticing this, noticing this a lot. Like my eyes, do you think have you, been kind of? Oh, so like, so compared to me, so uh, I'm on my so yeah. We'll just look at today. I was on my phone roughly for the most part of the day. Would you say you were on the computer for the for an equal amount? Yeah, I think I was definitely like if I wasn't on the computer, I was out in the living room. I was um, watching TV while I was cooking and eating, and like I just feel like I'm literally staring at a screen the entire day, and like the only breaks that I get is walking to maybe somewhere else to maybe retrieve my phone or something like that. I when think, I'm playing guitar, I think what I like, what what may be addicting about uh, the phone for me is that I'm keeping contact. With not uh, so communication, communication is the main thing because, like, yeah. yeah, but I think that and that's fair, but I think that you know, you need to focus on your present moment and the in your current. I live in the future, 
Yeah. <sighs> I mean, can we, talking with people that you used to associate or like live with is, is very, very nice, but it really shouldn't be done like too much at work or especially like when someone's trying to teach you something at work and then yet you're like checking it every couple of seconds or like, well, you're out, you're, you're eating with your coworkers at lunch as well. Like you can just check it like sometime after. Definitely. I think there's a good balance to be found. Could be. But I don't know where it is. <laughs> well, I mean, you should you should just practice like moments of even moments of like meditation where you're not like touching anything, like any device or anything like that. There are times I've been recommended that by who? Uh, by a couple of people where they're just like, "Have you tried meditation? You t- you should definitely try." And I think I they're, they're, they're just trying to sell you on their own uh, bullshit medicine. I was uh, so snake oil. Snake oil. <laughs> So if for those of you that go to FSU and have walked around HCB, there are these monks that, um, that have these books and they will give them to you for free. And you'll be like, oh, cool, a nice book. Maybe I'll just read this on my free time or something like that. And then they'll put their hand out and they'll expect a donation. And I didn't, I didn't oh, realize that. Did you take it? I like, so I took the book and, I, and then he asked for money. I was like, oh, no thanks. <laughs> I don't want the book anymore. So but but you already touched it. <laughs> So you but, must uh, come back and take this book. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I can't believe I just almost got swindled. Oh my gosh. Buying a book. How does that make you feel? That what Swindlers. Would you, say, feel... So, would you say it is wrong to do? Swindling? Yeah, for sure. Swindling. Well, That's more like soliciting. No, right? do you think these people were wrong in what, what they did their... to you? Yeah, like what they're doing. Forget the word swindling. Just what they're doing. Uh, I don't I think that they're misleading. They're deceptive. I think it's misleading. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. But I don't think that it, I mean. Do you think they have a uh, malice terrible. in their heart or they're yeah, trying to be bad people? No, I don't, yeah, I don't think that they're, I don't think. Yeah, I feel like they don't have that bad of an intention. They're just trying to make some money uh, to support their religion. Temple. So why do they have to practice these uh, kind of like these con, pra- con, con man practice? Deceptive tactics. Yeah. But the Korean barbecue man. Exactly. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that it's just. I don't know. Do you I ever do, give I, them I, I the don't. time of day? Have you ever, have you ever just had a Mormon come up to you and just tell you? The, you know, home? they don't come up to me, but you know what? Yeah, I, I wouldn't come up to you to... either. Okay, all right. You, you just give off that vibe of uh, I'm a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> you come in they closer. do. Uh, they do go up to girls very frequently. I don't know if you guys notice this, but they're always oh. talking to girls. <laughs> yeah, Maybe they... that's right. Um, maybe they feel like it's it's easier. No, to, like, it's because you know, in the. Um, Mormon in Mormonism, polygamy is a big thing, so they have uh, to have multiple wives. So they want to introduce more into their religion. Oh shit! What I've heard is that you know that that whole polygamy oh, I was thing just bullshitting isn't. That. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, it, it is true to it some, ex- that, yeah, some extent. Do, do. Yeah, but I heard that like they've kind of moved away from that for the most part. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I don't know. Question: I, Is this polygamy like one man, multiple women, or is it ever like? Time, yeah. a, a woman think, that has multiple I think men. I think it's primarily the Mormon religion. It's only you can only have one man, and then yeah, that's what I was thinking. I feel like it's a one to many relationship. That's why they have many. They're trying to attract many women into it. Wow, you understand? Have Maybe you guys I... ever had Seventh Day Adventists come to your door before? Who the hell? No. Are you, or you mean like Jehovah's Witnesses? Or Jehovah's Witness? Yeah. No, I've had. Uh, yeah, I've had some. I've never had the pleasure because I've never I mean, had the pleasure. My, it's not a pleasure. I've never had the pleasure. It's no pleasure. Because I have a gated house. But go ahead, tell us your experience. I mean, it's it's not really my. It's more like my dad's. Where um these two specific ones, they always came. Like they came like uh, twice a year. For, Wouldn't like, they get it after the first time that maybe we shouldn't go to this house? It's anymore? because my dad gave him like the time of day. Like, can we come inside your house and sit on your couch oh and God. tell you the I word like, of the? Because I'm a. My dad is not a fob. Oh, okay, all right, go ahead. Sorry. That's, um, I'm very disappointed in you, Tanner. <laughs> and uh, they would just like, you know, they would do their whole spiel like, oh, you know, go- let's read scripture together, uh, Mr. Chung. Wait, right? Hey, hey, Mark, you're a good friend. Good friend. Thank you for inviting us. Would your kids like to read uh, along with us? No, I'm good. No, I'm going to go play <laughs> Call of Duty, actually. And kill some Wait, dude. how old are you at this point? It's high school or something. Okay. And they should have just, you should have just entertained them and, and done it. But did you, your dad actually sat there and prayed with them? No. Oh. He's he's told them multiple times. He's like, 
you know, I've tried religion before uh, when I was younger, and you know, it really w wasn't my suit. I'm not that type of guy. So, <laughs> thank you all for coming. But, oh, a, but, but an but, old Chinese man accent, though, right? He's not. He doesn't have that much of an accent. He just talks uh, kind of harsh, like oh. hard. Like I, I don't like, understand. No, like, like, uh, <laughs> like uh, me. <laughs> like the uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. I can't remember what he sounds like. Uncle, one Jackie. more thing. No, that's not. That's not. That's not, that's not, what, not what my dad sounds like. He's more. He has kind of like a, uh, a gen generic accent. Okay. Like a like a just a normal like a great American. value accent. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like he doesn't have that brand name. He, Asian he talks accent. he talks like me, but he like kind of elevates his voice like like one one standard deviation higher. <laughs> one standard <laughs> by one point five decibels. <laughs> Pro profile untitled scene untitled. So I went to the movies <laughs> and I Wait, saw a what? bunch of cats. Sitting on my stove, it was beautiful. <laughs> he's talking like he's being held hostage. He's like trying to <laughs> blink Morse code with his eyes. Jason, Jason, Jason. Jason. I'm not even... <laughs> help me, help me, please. They're taking me away back to our Chinatown. <laughs> oh my! Wait, that just got so dark. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Did How do you guys think? Have... What? what? I was gonna ask Troy if his parents had accents. Oh yeah, they yeah. can't. They yeah, can't they really do. speak English, right? No, I had to <laughs> help them with everything. Yeah, okay. All right. What were you saying? Just no, I was gonna say. Uh, so I was thinking about this the other day, actually, um, about how I would be what now if I was a parent right now. Uh huh. Like you think you'd be a good one? I don't know because I'm. I was thinking like I've lived you know 22 years roughly, and. <laughs> I know my way around. No, no, that was the, no. I don't know my way around, and I'm like, God, if I was responsible for a kid, how would I react when like he gets a honor roll in eighth grade? Well, how, am I still gonna be like, I fuck it, dude, thing. pound it, yeah, get that honor roll, yeah? And then you're like, Dad, I got a girl pregnant, dude, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I don't even act like that now. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do you just do you just revert to like a previous time that you never were in college? <laughs> yeah, but I would be like, bro, dude, that's so fucked. Why? Why do you think you would curse in front of your kids? I don't think I, I, I don't think I'd curse in front of my kids. I think at a certain age I would. No, I don't. Like, like I don't, thirteen. Yeah. Like, dude, really? fuck, dude, what the fuck, dude? You were, you almost had that A. If you, if you, oh, if you like just that. worked a little bit harder, you could have gotten that A. He's like, Dad, I don't know this shit, man. That's just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, the, the Chung, the yeah. Chung household, like, so coming no, in the 2020s. Don't ever speak like that in my household again, or I'll beat your fucking ass. And he's like, Yo, okay, shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will you ever fight your own son? Like, no. son, put on these gloves. We're going outside. I actually, I kind of would be cool. I feel like that would be a cool relationship. Yeah, sparring with your sparring with your yeah. son. Yeah. Have you ever been hit by your parents really hard? Like, the hardest? Uh, yeah. No. I'm saying no. All right, Tanner. Yeah. Well, damn. I, I mean, I, I've just gotten the belt before. I've gotten slapped. Okay, okay. Let's say, at, like, at at a after the age of 13. Yeah. Oh, heck no. no. I got hit by the belt. After the you age. got hit by the Jeez. belt at, like, 17 or something? Not that old, but I think it was, like, my freshman year, 14. around, like, my early high school, because I was just doing, I was, I was getting, like, a C in chemistry. I was doing a hood rat shit with my hood rat friends. <laughs> I just wasn't doing well in school, and my mom was getting pissed. Oh, and, um, they beat you when you had poor grades? That's not a reason to beat someone. Oh I mean, it wasn't, like, it wasn't, I, maybe I'm just defending them, but I don't yeah, think how it was dare it? I mean, you are like, defending them, for sure. It was it was like a I belt it. to the hand. It wasn't like they just they like, belt your you know, hand. Indiana Jones style, where they fucking you know. What really... does that mean? They <laughs> belted Indiana your Jones hand. Style. Like, like they put your hand out. And they just hit, hit me. Hit me up. Put your hand out. <laughs> hit me on the hand. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Oh. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't often. I think I only got hit with the belt once. Oh. I slapped maybe like maybe once or twice. Slapped well, in your have, face. Like your face. Like yeah, you got backhanded. Face. Uh, not backhand. Probably front hand. She, she used her inner. She used her inner palm. You know, she showed some. Oh wow, she showed some. She, some. <laughs> what is it? Some uh, motherly love. Okay. The oh backhand is when you know you've done wrong. 
Why? Why did I, you get slapped? I, I I can't remember now, to be honest. Cause she slapped you that hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm gonna knock the memory out of I you. I just forgot the bad the f bad thing I did, so that I would never do it again. Well, that but means you not. might do it again because you don't know what you did. Oh, that's true. No, no, but no, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't do it out of spite. I would. Uh, I couldn't do it out of spite because I wouldn't remember it. I'd just be like, huh. You ever did stuff that to spite your parents? Yeah. Oh God. And I feel so. And I felt so bad about it. And I do. I can't remember, but I'm sure I have. And it wasn't anything. I never did anything physical. I just. I gave my mom the silent treatment for a while, <laughs> and I feel really bad about it now. I'm thinking about it, but yeah. I think that's a fucked up thing to do. It is a little bit like, fucked up. Yeah. You know, Tanner, dinner's ready, and like, then you just sit at the table. And just eat quietly. So, Tanner, how was your day? It's all right. Oh, like you wouldn't that, uh, even like say... Like that YouTube, that YouTube guy was like, bring me some fucking chicken waffle fries. <laughs> oh, I'm forgetting YouTube video. I've never okay. seen this. I, I got uh, slapped by my... I got... not. I didn't get back at but I got fucking smacked by my dad this one time. Oh, Tanner, you're shit. bleeding. Oh, fuck, I knew it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Let me make sure I don't waste his blood. <laughs> Let it go back into my circulatory system. Oh, is that uh, anti-Hitler? Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I already made that joke while you were Oh, you did? So, Damn it. Yeah, I did. It's okay. <laughs> um, uh, we were in Canada, and this is when uh, computer or computers were more limited and not everyone had their own laptops, so we had a shared uh, laptop mm -hmm. between me and my siblings. And I think my older sister was hogging it for a while, and I was like, it's my turn. She's not giving me my chance. And then uh, I was like, I'm going to go and smash the laptop, and she doesn't let me on right now. And then uh, I, I, walk, I, I, the shit out of I walked said, forward, and my dad like kind of pushed me back. Like, hey, hey, hey just relax. And like, no, you're not doing that. And I said, fuck you. I mouthed it like, fuck you. Oh, but you didn't say it. I, I mouthed it and kind of whispered it. So like, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> To your dad's face. To my dad's face. And then the, he took a long, like, kind of whip. And then <laughs> I'm like, Ugh! And I, like, hold my face, like, shocked. Like, oh, my God, he just slapped me. And ran upstairs yeah. and hid in the bathroom and just started crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Do you think you deserved it? Yeah. Do you, did you, so like, do you think, did, would you do that to your son if he did the same thing? To I, I think I'm more level-headed than my dad where I don't, like, get so angry that Mm -hmm. I result I result to like hitting. Was it hard enough that it actually like pushed your body? Did or was it just like head turn? I mean it just like jerked me and I got like whiplash or something. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, that, I... that was the last time I got hit and I don't I think I was like twelve. Yeah. Twelve, damn. Holy shoot. It was that is like pretty that's kind of old, yeah. It was sometime in middle school. But I deserved it. <laughs> but I, even though I, like, I was still like a shit kid. Do you guys remember when you first started cursing? Um, no. I, I, I cursed when I was really young. Like, but I never said it in school. Or I said it. I remember I thought if you could, if you curse in a song, then it's you're a okay. <laughs> so I would go up to like my si my sister locked her door one day and like wouldn't let me in, and I just stand next to like the door and I'm like, you fucking bitch, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid motherfucking bitch asshole and then she's like i'm telling <laughs> and then my dad spanked me and i was just like oh that didn't that hurt <laughs> and that was it that was the point where i was just like i guess he can't hurt me anymore and then next thing i know i get slapped <laughs> i'm immune <laughs> i think uh i remember okay so i remember so i went to a private school up until third grade and then i went to public school from then on but in private school i never cursed but Ooh. i remember learning this one sentence that my friend my best friend at the time i said he said shh it's sleeping and i didn't get what it meant <laughs> until, <laughs> until a long while. and i was like why are you saying that <laughs> it's sleeping. but um then when i got to public school i just i just started cursing like like crazy i would just like say fuck shit blah, blah. And um do you think you yeah. you still have a potty mouth now? I try not to. I try to damn this button won't stop. I try <laughs> to curse less and less. I know Troy doesn't say anything. Yeah, it's very weird. I, I grew up in a household where my sisters use foul words a lot, but they always told me, You better not do this. You better not say what we're saying. <laughs> and I was like, Okay. 
and I'll just, I mean, I didn't have a, I'm like, I didn't have any desire to say it. And in some way, even though you could word this both ways, them saying like that many like foul words all the time made me just not want to do it, you know? You're like, it's not cool anymore. My sisters did it. Yeah, like I hear it all the time. Like, this is not cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, what yeah. happened to, uh, but I feel like you're one of the main advocates for yeah. words have, words only have as much power as you give it. Me? Yeah, it's just, so I, you have no, for the, myself, I just want it to be different, you know? Kind of like the, I don't want to be like my wow. sisters. Like, fuck you. Like <laughs> okay. Rude, number one. Number two. Why would you say that? Don't say that. Yeah, um, fudge you, bro. Yeah, I thought I thought that like back then I was like cursing's cool, man. Like I, I, it is cool, I man. Say all this stuff, I feel empowered. <laughs> empowered. Yeah. They're sentence enhancers, like in SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are. They are sentence enhancers. I feel like they give a whole new like. Okay, so Jason, say say a sentence where you're describing. Uh, how much you enjoyed this pizza that you ate tonight? Yo, this and, is in a, a clean way. This is really good. Okay, now do a second version where you use sentence enhancers. To this describe. is so fucking good. All right, now yeah, Tana, how did you now, feel about the differences? I want, I want the second pizza. I want the second pizza because it's like, oh my uh, god, he compared uh, it to uh, fucking. <laughs> 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 if I can have a pizza that that's it's literally, literally fucking good. My God. Can I have the extra sausage, please? Can I get the extra fuck on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This uh, oh, you sure? You like ranch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, God. I, I did not mean for this to happen. I'm sorry, listeners. <laughs> you asked for this. You let it happen. Uh, so, speaking of, like, when you were young... Um, mm -hmm. Did you guys, were you guys ever bullies in I in was a big school? bully. Actually no, I wasn't I wouldn't say a big bully, but I was a bully. Because I was, I was bullied. Really bully. I was bullied and bullied. You yeah. told us about that one time that you, uh, in kindergarten you were like say like get them kids and they yeah. would beat up oh, like, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that ringleader. here, but you did mention yeah. that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, never mind. Cuz that's what I was going to bring up. It wasn't in, it wasn't in kindergarten. It was in You were a ringleader, bro. It was when I got to Public school. I think that I thought I was like hot shit coming out of private school. I was like, you know, I'm way ahead of you guys the other in, way around. in math and, and science and all this other mm -hmm. shit. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know why these other kids trusted or like these other, well, my henchmen. I don't know why they followed this tiny ass little Chinese kid. Because you had, you had the gravity. You had the confidence. The big dick the energy. The gravitas. The gravitas. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah, so this guy knows what he's doing. I need to follow, it, follow in line. Yeah, I just tell them, hey, yo, beat that kid up. I don't like the way he's looking at me. And they'd be like, yeah, I got you, man. And they just kick the crap out of him. Yo, give me and some fucking kid, gummy bears, bro. This one kid had a <laughs> wicked kick. Man. We used to we used to play soccer together. So I guess, you know, our legs were, you know, abled. But he was, uh, he would just, because he kicked me sometimes, too. And I'd be like, dude, what the fuck, dude? You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be listening to me. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to protect me. But, um. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, it fucking hurt. So now I feel bad to all those kids that I had beat up for my own. <laughs> you think you haunt their memories? Um, no, How like bad? I was friends with one of them afterwards. Ah, uh, oh. dude, remember when you made up that one kid beat me up? <laughs> 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 Fucking hilarious, right? Tanner's like sweating a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, that was crazy, wasn't He's, it? <laughs> the guy's like a huge buff dude now. Like, yeah. No, he he played fo he played football in high school, so he's a lot bigger than I am. He was bigger than I was back then too. He was way bigger. Oh, wait, so that means your henchmen were pretty strong, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I think it's just like when you travel in a group of people, like... Yeah, people you, don't, don't... you don't want to want to fuck with them. Yeah, um. even if you're bigger than one of them, you, you can't take on all three. Also, we're in like fourth grade, so like I think people are just naturally like, yeah, it's, it's not... <laughs> I don't want to get my lunch money taken. Oh my god. I, I think I would... I honestly think that I, I collected money from people too. God, what are you doing? Oh, Tanner! Okay, but I want to also mention... That when I went straight from private school to public school, there was a point where like I was super like you know religious, and I was like you know I don't want to do any wrong. And I God stole, gave me uh, this power to rule over you people. This was before <laughs> I was a bully, okay? And I stole a girl's nickel, and I felt so bad that at like the very end of the day at PE, I just slid it back to her and never said a word. Wow! And she saw it, and she took it back. 
I don't know. No, I mean, like I slid it like like behind her where she didn't see. So it was just like on the ground next to her. Like I don't even she know. She not, not even got it. Yeah. I know. God, and she, what are we like? She was like a nickel short for lunch that day. <laughs> oh my! God. That, I'm saying that's like that very well could have been it. Please, I, this is all I have. You need one. You need five more cents, ma'am. Uh, no. I guess where's my nickel? Where's my nickel? Imagine being the lunch lady in an element in an elementary school and having to deny kids food because they don't have enough money. Dude. That's got to be super taxing on your soul. Like, yeah, damn, I remember pay. when lunch was seventy five cents. Dude, mine was forty cents. I got reduced lunch. But that, that that just sounded like when an older person says, "I remember when gas was ten cents a gallon." Like, but like <laughs> formatted differently. In high school, I think uh, lunch was three twenty five. But I had I had the free and reduced lunch. So I Always got free lunch. Wow. I don't. I don't know if I. I think I had reduced lunch back then, but I think I would always just get pizza anyways, because the pizza was just so much better than school. And then the square ones, you. Uh... No, they had um, they had Domino's pizza coming into. They had like they just brought it to school, Domino's and Papa John's. Ooh, competitors. Mm. Wow. And then after school, we had crepes. They had like a crepe maker. What the fuck? Wait, this sounds good. Yeah, it was really good. Wow, and Jamaican patties and, and the such. Oh my! Wow, God. Jamaica. So Jamaican everything just follows you. Yeah, man. It's just part of way. And they had sushi maki as well. That was garbage. Huh? Everything. Let's uh turn. I'm gonna turn the to- uh the direction completely 124,000 degrees. Cause I, uh, I had a question. That's like exactly the same direction, like on accident. It could be like a 360. <laughs> yeah, times whatever. So uh. I really want to ask everyone this because I think we had a discussion about this at lunch one day, or just yesterday. Would you participate in a threesome? Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Just want to make sure. Would you like, hello? participate <laughs> in a threesome? Mm. Damn it, man. This is really bothering me. Um, I don't know. If I, I gave you the option right now, Tanner, you, me, why and... Don't you, why, don't you, why don't you start off with, with your y- thoughts on it? You, me, and this one broad. So, so, okay. Are you defining that there has to be another guy? It has to be male, male... We'll, we'll do male. both. Okay, we'll do both. Both. So, uh, I remember we went out to... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Cancun's after level 8. And uh, we were walking back from Cancun, you, me, and Lucas. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about running a train. <laughs> Why did you have to bring that up, Jason? That, I don't think that that was a... Running. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And because uh, I, I was just like, uh, I think Lucas was just like, I would run a train with Tanner. And, and Tanner... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, you can't be outing people like that, man. What's you can't be name dropping like that. Uh, El- Poopas. <laughs> said he would run a train with Tanner and then uh, he was, I was just, they were like Jason would you run a train with any of us and I'm like no no why would I why would you no of all people and he's like what are you afraid of your dick size I'm like no no I, I think no I think it's fine I don't think it has anything to do with dick size I just don't want another man in the room with me but I think Tanner yeah. and Poopas. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'd care. I don't think I'd care if it, if there was another guy. Do you think it has to be a particular much. guy with you? Like, would you do it your bro, or it could be a stranger? I would prefer to be with somebody I know. I guess that I'm friends with. I don't know. Hey, that's what's up. I can see how some people would prefer not friends, so that they don't have to uh, like see, keep seeing that person or something. Hey, you know? dude, how was last night? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking meeting right now. <laughs> oh god. Let's ditch the girl next time. Uh, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> How about Wait, you what? You? Are you... Dude, the girl was the main point. She was holding us back. <laughs> we could have gotten a lot wilder if you and me. It was just you and me. Well, no Eiffel Tower. It would have been the two towers. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Jason. Why, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what what are your thoughts on it? Would you? Okay, let's ask Troy. I want to ask Troy. Oh, go um, ahead. I think we 
kind of mentioned this a while ago. And I don't think so on the podcast, but I I stress the importance like if one of the females is like your significant other or the person like you have like a, a pretty mm, decent chance yeah. at marrying, you should not do it. What like, if they're they like it? Yeah. Well, what maybe... if you both are like you know you both like it? But you're changing what he wants, and you're asking him what he wants now, yeah. so you have to... I mean, it was a very yeah. broad question initially, and there were no real parameters to it. Yeah, I just feel like it kind of, like, puts a dent in, like, that foundation or, like, how each other is, like, satisfied, and I think it just creates all sorts of, like, slippery slopes, like, oh, we did this a while ago, but, oh, I kind of want to do it again, and one of them is, like oh, no, like, am I not enough for you? Or, like, <laughs> things like that. And then they, this has to become, like, a regular basis thing. Like, I don't know. I just think that's All right, unhealthy. Let's, let's say it's not a significant other. And it's just two two, two individuals that you, you know. It's uh, Billy Bob and uh, his uh, girlfriend, Carrie Ann. Billy, um, Billy Ann. <laughs> uh, Billy Ann. I don't know. I feel like I would not, I would not partake in it if it was, if there was, like, Another man. Okay, let's say two, uh, Billy Ann and Trilly Ann. <laughs> yeah, I mean Tranny Ann. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. You had a one and a half. One and a half. Um, these are two girls. Yeah, I, I guess I would feel more comfortable if it was like. So you would do it. Two females, but at the same time, I feel like I might feel like weird for the rest of my life. I don't know. Uh oh. It'll change you to have a a three way. A menage a trois. Yeah, like what if it like conditions me to only get like, off at three ways yeah and then like by the time i become serious with one girl i'm like oh my mind's still messed up like i want to be that's like that's like that argument that i can't you shouldn't attain the best if you can only attain it like once because then you'll always be you know wanting it oh you know kind of like mean? kind of like if you could have some food like from heaven one time any time in your life and you like click a button and it yeah, down, then that's, that's the it's only it's it. it's like if we're doing a bunch of similes, it's like <laughs> uh, yeah yeah uh, buying uh, first class once because mm, you can never, then you can never ride economy again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I think you should just you should just go for it. I think, think that... I think yeah, these situations don't uh, happen like every day or like they're not as common as you think. So if you are presented with this opportunity, you should take it. Yeah, in, ter- in terms of a point of scarcity, sure, I guess that's <laughs> more believable. Like, if we're talking about, like, rarity, we're just like, like, yeah, do it, because you don't know when the next time it's going to happen. But my main point, besides the scarcity, is, like, it mentally conditioning or, like, doing something in my head. I don't know. I think that's pretty scary. Okay. I'm, I'm, down, I'm down for it. I'm always down. For <laughs> oh, okay, but no matter what time, No matter what type of combination. Oh, um... I, mean, I think it matters a little bit. I'd be more, you know, I'd be more, 100% okay, for open, for two like girls. More. But then if yeah. it, if you bring a guy in, I start have to like kind of like review the guy or judge the guy. <laughs> Look at his well, resume. I, I know that for Jason, the guy has to not be bigger than Jason. Did I say I that, that before? Way. No, but I, could, I bet you, knowing you, that that's, no, that's going to be no, one that, of No, no, that's not. I actually don't. I was like, did I say that? No. I don't know because the, it's not about me if there's another guy there. Because with two, you have to think about it. With two girls, uh, that means I'm the one who gets all the attention. What if they're lesbians and they just like each other, and then you kind of, you're kind of. Yeah, they like, I they just like stand in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Look at me. Oh God, the guy in the corner is looking very. <laughs> He's sweating. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> you think you could be a what is that called a, a voyeur isn't that like another word for like a, a, a ship captain or no, a sailor no that's okay <laughs> no a voyeur is a man oh, i'll think a, about voyage or something the a person voyeur. who gains sexual pleasure from watching others when they are naked or engaged in sexual activity it's like watching it's, porn. So it's like watching porn irl i was I was gonna say is just watching porn by itself is that voyeurism mm. are you because I feel like that kind of... It, it does, but, but I would say... It I think it border, has to be IRL. Yeah, so even though I didn't literally say IRL, I think it is applying it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that would mean we're all voyeurs. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. 
No, no okay. oh, I I don't watch porn. I never watch porn. I only porn. watch I only read right. the Bible. I I've the Bible. Seen, I've heard about Jesus and Mary, and they didn't even have sex. So that's true. Am oh, I really... today's uh, the Jesus. Immaculation Conception. Day. Is it really? Hell yeah, bro! Jesus got it in today. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> well, yes, I guess he did. Technically, oh no, not Jesus. No, his dad. Yeah, that's that's why I'm trying to. Oh. Yeah, Jesus is dad. Yeah, pound it, dad. But then dog. you get the whole confusing concept of the Trinity. Like Jesus is his dad, and his dad is Jesus. And then yeah, that well, You're this, this is why I don't subscribe to bullshit religions. It's too confusing. Too many things to ask for. Too tall. Yeah, it's like order. a TV novella, man. Like fuck. Who's the father? <laughs> it's just like God <laughs> walks but in like the front door. <laughs> ah, yeah. ¿Qué es eso? I mean, he's like Chinese or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, You're what a long lost Chinese. brother. I, I cannot believe what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I think uh, we should call it an episode right there. That was a, <laughs> that was a strong ending. A strong way to end it. Uh, Hispan no, Chinese God with a Hispanic brother-in-law or something. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out this evening. I, this was a a nice impromptu one, a good hour. This one's not as long as any as the others that we've had in the recent three or four, I think. But still, it's a good one. Uh, be sure to check us out on Spotify. Be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit some milestones here. And also, like and do whatever you like. Because we are Is something all going to happen at a certain amount of subs? Uh, 20 subs for 20 subs. <laughs> Wait, is this 20 subs? Each person has to eat 20 subs? Yeah. or no, no, Maybe me and yeah, Jason can do 10 half-foot subs each. 20-inch okay. sub. 20-centimeter sub. How about that? One 20-inch sub, and we're both eating from opposite directions, yeah. and we both oh. meet in the middle. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah, uh, both meet in the middle. Yeah. We need one more. Otherwise, I'm not down for it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh also um leave questions and stuff like people have already done on instagram so that we can um you know read it and if you have any feedback or anything that's always great to hear but if you also have questions that you want us to answer mm. um we love doing that too so uh mm. yeah leave it on jason's instagram that's right oh there was one more question i forgot to ask oh it's a really quick one, but I think we should all like kind of try to answer it. A good way to end it, I think. When is Tanner gonna make his Instagram? Tanner, I think we Big all question. should go uh, around and we go. Troy first to answer this one. This is making me suspect it was you, Jason, who asked this question. No, that made that stupid fucking Instagram in the first place. What? Do you, how does that? Someone else asked this question. Yeah, likely story, buddy. Likely story. <laughs> show him. Show him. <laughs> Likely story, buddy. All right, okay. Who, who knows if you put a put them up to it? <laughs> right, just yeah. says one... I'll uh, I'll make I'll make the it's about that time podcast. I already Instagram did. As soon fuck, god damn it. Oh. I'll make the Twitter page. No, Tanner, what... answer yourself right now. Why are you unwilling to make a personal Instagram account for yourself? I just think that I don't I don't I'm not I don't like to take pictures of myself. I don't like to take pictures in general so much. And but whenever you do, it. it'll be there. Yeah, but I mean, like, what's the point? If I'm not going to take pictures, if I'm not going to use it, there's no point. You in can just take, it, yeah. look at other people's pictures. I have one, and I also rarely use it. And I like having it for, like, when I'm like, oh, cool, I want to share this, like, every now and then. Also, you know, it's just another thing to be addicted to. Because if I had Instagram, then I'd just be scrolling through other people's Instagrams all day long. And I already kind of do that on, on Snapchat. Like, I just kind of look at Snapchat for no good reason at all. So I mean, you post things on Snapchat. Yeah, how often do I post things on Snapchat? Tell me. I mean, I, you, how often do you think I post things on Instagram? Well, okay. In any case, yeah. I'll see. I'll think about making an Instagram, but I don't think it's going to happen in the near future. Uh, Everyone, slide into Tanner's DMs and spam him. Make an Instagram, and it'll happen. Yeah, spam yeah, my get... Instagram. Oh, I, I, he hates it when people like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just the worst. You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> if you want to piss off Tanner, you know what to do. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank yeah. you guys for coming out. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you. Peace. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>